Quinn here with some quick videos on the Wonko automated flagger assistance device. So this first video we're going to have a quick walk around tour of the unit itself and all the hardware features. Then we're going to talk about deploying the unit and pairing a single device to the wireless handheld controller. So on the back side of the unit we have a 12 inch beacon head with red and yellow beacons the R10-6 regulatory sign, two foot by three foot. Uh, rear hitch standard with all uh, trailers for tandem towing. Uh, rear tail lights and wiring included. As we move around the unit this way, we've got a two segment eight foot arm powered by an electric actuator. 13 inch wheels, plastic fenders, four corner leveling jacks for leveling the unit out on uneven surfaces. As we move around to the back, uh, the front side of the unit now, uh, we've got an 85 watt solar panel, 8 dB Yagi antenna, our main control box which controls everything along with uh, uh, alert, alarm, alarm siren, um, manual winch which we'll use here in a minute to raise the tower and the control the battery box in the battery box it's a steel battery box we have four lead acid batteries for 430 amp hours of power a 15 amp charger to keep these batteries topped off when when there's no solar available the service switch which is to be left in the on position all the time when this switch is off it actually cuts power to the system and prevents solar charging. So this is to be left on all the time. This is a charging system for the wireless handheld device, which we'll bring out in a second. And then this is a manual emergency uh, button for controlling the gates and the arm when the wireless handheld is not available. So now we'll deploy the unit and learn how to pair it. So there's a latch pin that holds it in the bottom and the top position. Pull the pin, let it go. Easy crank. Snaps in into the top position. So now we're fully deployed. The beacons are 95 inches off the ground. We're gonna unplug the charger from the, wire, from the wireless handheld. It's got a comfortable strap easy to turn on. This is the splash screen when no trailers have been paired. So the first thing we want to do is pair the first unit. We got two choices. You can pair any button with any trailer at any time. So we're going to start with number one. The animation begins letting you know that the handheld is doing what it's supposed to. Five second button press on the bottom of the control box. Then the light starts signaling that the pairing is in process. Slow blink followed by a fast blink. Fast blink indicates that the units are communicating and when they finish the pairing is complete and it's indicated on the screen. Two quick button presses back to the main screen. And now we're ready to control the device. And the first thing we'll do is just close the gate. Get a five second countdown on the screen and a five second solid yellow. And then the arm moves. The animation on the screen shows everything that's happening all the time. And now uh, the next choice would be to open it. Let's go ahead and do that. No delay on the open, it just happens immediately and goes back to a yellow flashing state. So that's it for episode one. In episode two, we'll talk about pairing a second device, second trailer, and operating two trailers with a single operator and a single uh, wireless handheld.